the ultimate in 4K entertainment. The 4K tube projector will project tubes of light onto your walls and ceiling. The ultimate 4K, 4K, ultimate high definition, ultra HD 4K. <laughs> this is a 4K projector. I, I'm just joking around right now because on Amazon, you'll see a ton of different projectors that are like 100 bucks or 150 bucks and they all say 4K and then you don't know. No, they're not 4K, but they can take a 4K signal. They can take, if you've got a Blu-ray that's 4K, you can plug it up to this and you can project it onto the wall in brilliant 720p. So that's what we have here. Does that mean that this is bad because, you know, on the Amazon thing, it says 4K and it's not actually, you know, native 4K, it's native 720p. No, what, what I'm saying here is that the marketing that's allowed is garbage. This should be native 720p, but people are going to look at it and say, oh, I don't know if I want that. And then a lot of times they'll get it and they'll put it on the wall and they'll look at it and they'll be like, hey, it looks pretty good. And they won't even question it. And I think that's what we have right here. This is where I've been getting my Windows keys for the last couple of years right here on whokeys.com. They're my longtime sponsor as well, so thanks for that. The difference is this is an OEM key, so it's tied to the hardware, but you'd have to buy this 10 or 12 times to make it equal the cost of retail. The other difference is you'll be doing your own tech support here because you don't get the Microsoft tech support, and I don't think any of us have ever used Microsoft's tech support, so you can get Windows 11 Pro, you can get Windows 10 Pro, you can also get Windows 10 Home, and then we have three flavors of Office, 2021, 2019, and 2016. But if you use coupon code TS25, we're going to bump that up to 25% off. Just go ahead and add what you need to your cart, putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. Don't waste your money on a ridiculously priced key from Microsoft when you can get them right here. So say thanks to Hookies and grab a copy of Windows at a price that makes sense. So this is the T08 projector and it's a very interesting design. It's a tube that you can angle in several different directions and it has 45 degree automatic keystone correction. So you can quickly point it at the wall and angle it either up. You can shoot it straight on the ceiling if you want to have a little bit of fun, whatever you're into. If you put the unit itself at like a 45 degree angle, it can do a 45 degree angle keystone and it kind of snaps into place. It doesn't let you just like move around. It, it snaps rigidly, which allows you to, you know, get the correct angle for the keystone and I found that it almost instantly worked with the 80 inch screen that I have. Now 720p on an 80 inch screen, yeah, it looks pretty good, but you gotta get back. I'm gonna talk about how this looks for just a second, go through the specs and then talk about my experience with it. And you know, one of the things you need to keep in mind here is this is about 120 something, $130, somewhere in that range. Now, it's not that big. It's 4.69 inches by 5.28 inches by 8.6 inches. Uh, it's 1.94 pounds. And so it's really easy to move around. You can grab it, take it places. And since it, you know, like smacks onto the wall really quick and the focus is just on the front, it's really easy to turn. You can focus it yourself. Then when you pair that with your phone, you can do like the casting from your iOS device. You can also do it from Windows, but Android as well. So you can cast from all of those devices and then you can plug it up with USB or you can bring along a USB flash drive. And I tried a few different flash drives to see what would work. The big hard drives, like spinning hard drives that are USB, they don't work, they require too much power. But I took an M.2 that was, you know, like a portable M.2 enclosure, plugged that up, worked perfectly fine. Let's talk about the throw distances. 3.9 feet all the way back to 20.67 feet. Oh, up to a 200 inch screen, they say. So if you're sitting really far back, 200 inch screen. I just did 80 inches. And actually at one point I pushed it in until it was about 60 inches, just so I could see the difference. And yes, it is sharper at 60 inches. So that's up to you. If you want to move it a little bit closer and get a sharper picture, you can do that since it is a 720p projector. You can also mount it on the ceiling, the table, and you can do front or back uh, projection. Now let's talk about the one key thing here for me. It's very dim. So you need to be in a dark room. I'm talking like a dark room with no lights. Now animation, I put on a lamp behind this so you could see. So there's a lamp behind the projector. You can see how it looks there. I think animation looks really good. One other thing to remember is light, it's all about your eyes because your eyes will adjust to a dim room. Do not expect to be using this in a room that has windows with natural light during the day, outdoors with any kind of lights, street lights coming through your window, um, or a bunch of lamps and stuff on. If their radius of luminance is not that great, maybe. But the best experience you're gonna have with this is in a dark room with almost all the lights off 
maybe a couple of backlights or some LEDs or something behind the screen will be just fine. But that's it. You need a dark room. It doesn't even say how many. Like, if you look through their Amazon page, I don't know how many lumens it has. Like, it doesn't say. So I'm going to guess well under a thousand lumens. It was, it was dark. Animation, emulation looked really nice and bright uh, and good and actually really smooth. I was very surprised at how good some of this stuff looks. And that might be thanks to the 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. And it's got a decent lens as well. So you got those two things. Uh, decently sharp picture it you know when it's really 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 big if you go close it does look fuzzy because it doesn't have enough resolution but if you're sitting back at a comfortable distance depending on the size of your screen i think it looks pretty good um, and if you're just someone who wants something to have a nice evening watch some shows play some games like i like i've done then this is fine for that now let's talk about the usb that you can plug in because they say that it supports all kinds of different formats I tried a bunch of these formats. So one of their slides here says that it supports uh, H.265 and H.264, VP9 and AV1. So I tried everything, everything works just fine. There are two things that I found that did not work. Uh, and that is any file that has like one of those true HD 7.1 channel audio things, those don't work. So you need to render that down. Opus files work just fine. And then my AV1 files were coming out green. But you could see them and they were playing, but they were coming out green. So maybe some certain AV1 settings don't work as well because a lot of the AV1 is, is done in the software. So I imagine some AV1s work. I always add film grain and a bunch of stuff to mine. So I'm gonna say it has partial support for AV1 out of the box. Now, if you're just plugging up you know, your, your HDMI and playing it back that way, none of this matters. You know, you can watch AV1 with true HD 7.1 channel, uncompressed, crazy audio, whatever you want, just fine will, will work. So I do recommend plugging these up to your computer if possible, but really just like putting a ton of anime on there or a bunch of movies and stuff, H.264, H.265, and playing those back works perfectly, but it is a little clunky to navigate with the controller. So if you need to be doing pausing forward, back and stuff, no, just plug it up to a computer. Uh, or use your Android phone or your iOS because the experience with this is not there. You know, this is not one of those devices that, that has like Android built in and has all those crazy features. That's not what this is. That's not what you're getting at this price point. You're just getting a fun device. It does have a nice quality to the image. I want to show you just a few different scenarios here. Now I'm playing Mario in a very dark room and you can see just how dark it is in the background. And I think it looks pretty good. I tried to focus. I've been trying to focus everything to make it look just like it looked to my eyes. Um, and I think this is pretty much it. And you're thinking, okay, maybe there's a slight bit of blur. And I'm like, you know, it's just a CRT effect. That's all. I was running a CRT effect on here. So forgive the CRT effect. That's where some of the blur is coming from. It was actually sharper than this. All right. And then now you can see in this movie, this is as bright as it gets. And this is how it was looking to me in the room. Now, I do have one lamp on over in the corner. If I turn that off and let my eyes adjust, I think it looks okay, but it is a little bit dark. I would prefer it to be a tiny bit brighter, but this is exactly how it, like how you're seeing it. I sat there and messed with my cameras for a little while and I've got a good camera. It's exactly how it looked to my eyes. Now I said video games are just fine. Well, there's some dark video games. This is Blackthorn. Parts of Blackthorn are so dark that I couldn't see the enemies. Uh, and that also is because I had a side light on. Turn that off, it's a little bit better. But, you know, yeah, a game like Blackthorn, or a game that has a, just a lot of you know, shadows and dark areas, it's going to be probably a bit much for this. Um, gaming did feel pretty smooth. I noticed maybe the tiniest bit of uh, input lag. But it's... Like, I, I was maybe thinking it was there, but it's hard to tell. All right, here's Blackthorn, in the same game. And this is when I turned on the kitchen light over in the side. So this is how it looks. This is exactly how it looked to my eyes with the kitchen light on. And you can see it just right now on the screen. It is exactly how it looked. So it looks really washed out. This cannot compete with an overhead light in the kitchen. That's all, just one big overhead light. Can't do it. 
But when it comes to watching something fun like the Golden Girls or some old TV show, I think they looked really good. In fact, it kind of reminded me of the old quality you'd get on a CRT because we're 720p, but it doesn't look like a 720p LCD. This is an LED projector. But once it gets projected out there, the light, I don't know, it feels a little more, I want to say CRT light because it kind of, the colors bleed together a little bit. So maybe the imperfection is a bonus point when it comes to watching old school low res content. Because I thought Golden Girls looked better on this than it does on my LCD screen. In fact, a lot better. I would rather sit there and watch these old terrible looking 480p files. I'd rather watch them on this. This is something I can recommend for someone who wants to just chill, have fun, want something inexpensive that's bigger than their TV that they can project on their ceiling or project on their wall in a very dark room, watch anime, some old movies, maybe play some games that are not too dark and just have a good time or if you're someone who wants to get like four or five of these they'd be really cool for like an art exhibit because you could just kind of like angle them in all different directions and even if some lights are on and stuff you just have some texture and some stuff you can maybe animate something and put it on it you know i've been to a lot of like art shows where they just have like stuff on the walls this is going to be a little bit dim but if you have a dimly lit room and a few of them pointed in different directions it could really add some ambiance so I could see it being used for that as well. Do I recommend this? Well, yeah, but only in those very certain circumstances. But really, if you want something better, you're going to have to pay two to three times as much. If you want a really big screen and you're OK with the, doing this in a dark room, go for it. You'll have a huge screen. It'll be like a little movie theater. And I think that's kind of the point here is just I think that's kind of the point here. So let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget, we have a few more days left on our Epic Pants 50 percent off sale. Everything is 50% off over at epicpants.com, except for the print on demand. But all the mice and keyboards and where's all this stuff? All this stuff, oh, it's hiding. Yeah, all this stuff right here, all that stuff is 50% off. All right, I'll see you on the website.